What's going on my people, it's Tony from Food Sesh and we're back at it with another one. So I decided to pick something up from my local supermarket. I was going food shopping this weekend like we always do. I usually go to either Stop and Shop or ShopRite, but I went to Stop and Shop today because it's a little closer to my house. And I said, you know what? Let me see what's down the goodies aisle because I always go down the chip and cake aisle just to see if there's anything new for me to try. And I came across these new Entenmann donut cakes. Check that out. Now these are the cinnamon and spice ones. They look like regular donuts, but I'm assuming they're probably gonna be like the cakier kind. Or well, I don't know if this is gonna be more like a cake that's in the shape of a donut. But I got the two flavors. That's the cinnamon sugar, and this is the double chocolate chip. So, so far, as far as appearance, it looks really good. These look like they have some kind of frosting on it and they should have chocolate chips. So I'm really interested in these. For my chocolate lovers out there, I believe you're gonna like those. And for my non-chocolate lovers, these would probably be for you right here. So I wasn't sure if Entenmann's was a more of an East Coast company because I'm on the East Coast, but I did dig up a little history on it and Entenmann's is a nationwide company, which is good because that means my people on the West Coast can also get Entenmann's. I believe it's gonna pretty much be in any Walmart and Walmart's everywhere. But let me break down some of this. Entenmann's is a 126 year old company originating in New York City. William Entenmann learned the trade of baking from his father in Stuttgart, Germany and used his acquired skills to work in a bakery in the US, eventually opening his bakery in 1898 on Rogers Avenue in Brooklyn, New York. I never knew this company was started in Brooklyn because I am a New Yorker and that's good to know. And there it is right there. I just simply Googled it. So if you guys wanna pause it and read it for yourself, but there you can see the old picture from back in the days. So I thought that would be pretty cool, add a little more value to the video, give you a little history lesson, but you guys are really here to see what these things are all about and whether they're hit or miss. So if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Tony from Food Sesh. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe, notification, and all of that good stuff. Let's get it, guys. So I think we should probably start out with these right here. The more simpler ones, these are gonna probably be the ones that you can eat in the morning that are not gonna be as sugary as the other ones because as you can see, the other ones have chocolate chips and they have frosting. These look like they just have like a little cinnamon type of little uh, coating on them. But let's get it guys. So you got the little tear on the side. Well, let me give you guys a little preview of the box so you can see. There goes all the ingredients for all my number crunchers if you wanna pause it there. I like that they're individually wrapped because the other Entenmann donuts, the chocolate ones and the mixed ones, they don't come individually wrapped. They're all like pretty much in the box. So that's pretty cool because you can take these on the go. So keep that in mind. This would be a good snack to put like in a lunch box or in your bag or just like running out of the house real quick. So let's see what's good with this one here. Let's open it the right way. Let's see how effective this is. Because sometimes, you know, this doesn't work. Let's get it. Okay, it worked for the most part. But this part, I always just break open. There we go. So that's what it looks like inside. You get six of the donut cakes. And I'm gonna put that on the side. And there it is right there. Check that out. Look at that. So it's a good size. It's pretty soft, individually wrapped. You get that little cardboard on the bottom just to protect it from getting like really squished, not labeled for resale. So if you see these in one of those little mom and pop stores, you know what time it is. But let's open this bad boy and see what's good. There it is, check that out. That smells so good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, guys, let's get it. Big bite. Cheers. Mmm. 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 
Man. Mm. I'm lost for words, guys. It's not a cakey donut. It's not a cakey donut like I thought it was gonna be. It's more like what it says. It's a cake in the shape of a donut. It's very moist, buttery, cinnamony, and it's kind of reminiscent of their pound cake, except without that, you know, pound cake flavor. But this thing is really, really good. Mm. This will go perfect with some coffee or just by itself in the morning. Or you could just have this at any time as a late night snack. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm, that's good. So I finished one of the cinnamon spice donut cakes from Entenmann's. And I was pleasantly surprised. As far as score, I'm gonna have to give this a solid 8.6 out of 10. If you like cinnamon spiced and you like moist cake, you're gonna love this. So pick up the cinnamon spiced donut cake from Entenmann's. You won't be disappointed. And I'm gonna definitely say that this one is a hit, not a miss. So pick this bad boy up right here. So now for my chocolate lovers, this is the one I'm excited for. This is the double chocolate chip donut cake. And what that one showed me is that this one is probably gonna be just as moist and just as good, except with that chocolate twist. So what I'm gonna really be judging is whether the chocolate is good and if this frosting does it any justice. But if it's moist like those cinnamon spice ones, that's gonna be already a big plus. So let's see what this one's like, guys. So there's the box right there. So that's a nice appearance. Numbers right there for my crunchers. QR code. Neil. Easy open. Wasn't it was it was pretty easy. Let's get it, guys. Cheers. Okay, but it never opens perfect. But they try, so, or we try. Let's get this thing open. There it is. Hmm. All right, pull one on the side. Same thing in the back. All right, let's open it. Give you guys a better look. Oh man, this thing is so moist. Oh man, look at that. Oh man, and it smells so good. Oh man, it's like a really moist chocolate cake in the shape of a donut with that white vanilla frosting, I believe. Oh man, this is going to be so good. All right guys, big bite, cheers. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll share some with you. There you go, guys. Cheers. Mm. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I finished the double chocolate chip donut cake for Mentimins. And it was good, but not as good to me as this one right here, the cinnamon and spice one. And I'll tell you why. The chocolate is pretty decent. It doesn't have the best chocolate flavor in my opinion. I have tasted much better chocolate cakes, but the moistness is definitely there. It's really moist. It almost falls apart. And another thing that I noticed is that the frosting really doesn't do it any justice. You pretty much don't taste it. The chocolate overwhelms it. 
but it is pretty decent. I would say these are try if you're a chocolate lover. Give them, give them at least a try. But this would be my go-to right here. This one I could have in the morning. I could have this one pretty much any time. This is gonna be more of an evening, earlier. You don't wanna eat this one for breakfast, basically, right here. But it's pretty decent, so I'm gonna have to give it a score of 7.1. And I'm gonna say it's a hit if you like chocolate, cake, moist, in a donut shape. If you're not a chocolate lover, then this one's definitely not going to be for you. But in my opinion, I like it. It's a hit for me. Definitely not for everybody. I feel like this one here is going to be more universal. But they're definitely worth a try. So if you guys are in your local supermarket and you find these right here, give them a try and see if you like it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the review. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.